right now on Hot Pursuit. We get off to a running start. This one's about to blow. And an SUV puts a new spin on going out for a spin. In Des Moines, Iowa, police are chasing 42-year-old Ed Burke down a rain-soaked road. He caught the attention of local law enforcement officials who saw him driving without a seatbelt. When they ran his license plate, they discovered that his criminal activities don't end there. And he has two outstanding warrants and a history of escaping the police. Old habits die hard, so Ed tries it one more time. But the last time he escaped, the roads weren't this wet. Police think they have him and start pushing him into a ditch. But Ed still has a few tricks up his sleeve. As stunned motorists look on, Ed pulls around the back of the patrol car and attempts to speed off yet again. He heads south onto the highway. There's only one problem. As if the pursuit wasn't dangerous enough before, Ed and the cop chasing him hug the shoulder. Take wet roads, a barrage of oncoming traffic, and add speeds of up to 115 miles per hour, and you've got a recipe for disaster. Ed may still be headed in the wrong direction, but the cop has had enough. He can do more going the right way. His fellow officer, however, keeps up the wrong way chase. Word comes over the radio that Ed has left the highway. The cop sees his chance and hopes to cut him off. The other officer has taken the exit, too. But where's Ed? Has the escape artist performed a vanishing act? No luck. Houdini has been spotted. No amount of magic will help Ed out of this one. A spun-out criminal has no sense of direction. Now that his bag of tricks comes up empty, he's headed straight to jail. There's nothing like taking your first ride in a new car, especially if the car is stolen. Then there's really nothing like it. The features on this car are impressive. Power windows, a great sound system, and oh yeah, a hidden security camera. That's because it's a police bait car designed to take car thieves off the streets. Still, who wouldn't be proud of a new set of wheels? Hey, Jeff Bowler, you like my new car? How much it cost you? $6,000. No one ever said car thieves were honest. He turns on the lights to get a good view of his new car's interior. But really, he's just giving the cops a better view of him and his buddy. I'll give the cops a hell of a round. Wow. Buckle up for my safety. He wouldn't want to get caught doing anything illegal. Okay, I gotta go. Okay, Doc. I will. Now the police have an even better view. They're right behind them. Oh. He decides to see how his new car handles. No way. 
safety must not be a concern anymore. He's about to make a high-speed exit. If he can get up the nerve. Amazingly, his safe landing is the luckiest thing that's happened to him all night. Too bad the cops have caught the whole thing on tape. In Beatrice, Nebraska, police tried to pull over a pickup with a busted set of taillights. The suspect must not be afraid of the dark, but he is afraid of the cops. Now 90 miles an hour, 90 miles an hour. I'm still northbound on Highway 4. At least his headlights seem to be working. They show him the patrol car blocking the way up ahead. He's going in a cornfield. The cops take a side road to head him off. But one of their own is already fender to fender with the fleeing driver. When that doesn't stop him, an officer chases on foot with gun drawn. Against the blinding glare of his headlights, the cop fires shots at the pickup's tires. Uh, he's on the rim right now. An officer approaches the window. But this suspect isn't giving up. Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Give me your other hand. Give me your other hand. Get up. Stand up. This idiot is in a whole lot of trouble. Go down over the hood for me. No, no. What are you running for? What are you guys chasing me? Huh? You don't have any tail lights. Huh? So he wasn't the brightest bulb in the box. In the end, thanks to the cops, he finally saw the light. Coming up on Hot Pursuit. Crooks don't like to be pushed around. The cops catch a lucky break. And one unlucky driver falls head over heels. In Utah, the sky is clear and so are the roads. Good thing, because police are desperately trying to stop a suspect on the run. At an intersection ahead, they spot their man. A police SUV is close behind him. Very close. This suspect gets a new lease on this chase and gets away for now. chase continues down the road, where the suspect finds a strategic location, a busy parking lot. The SUV hasn't let up, though. He's right on him. Quick cut across lanes of traffic. It looks like he might get away. But suddenly, freedom within reach, he makes the dumbest move of them all. He pulls into a residential driveway. So what if it's snowy? 
That's no big deal for a police SUV. It's not the suspect's home, it's a dead end. So he tries to run on foot. And only a few minutes later, the police have him in custody. Cops thought this guy would be a pushover. And when things got bumpy, sure enough, he started to get a little homesick. Police in Columbus, Ohio are responding to a call about an accident. A car smashed into a pickup truck. But Frankie Coleman, the mayor's wife, seems a little confused. What happened here? What happened here? Uh-huh. Involved in a, an accident. No, I wasn't. But you, can but you can barely stand. Why I'm you? fine. No, I'm fine. She's fine, she says, apart from the short-term memory loss. Where are you coming from right now? You have been drinking tonight. I can, I can smell an odor of alcohol. Well, I have a little, little bit. Okay. You hit a vehicle. You drove straight into I the car. Yeah. You, you don't even notice that you hit this car? Did you want to take a look at it? Mm -hmm. Okay, walk around. Mm -hmm. Maybe she couldn't see around the bottle she was drinking from. Do well, you remember hitting this car? You didn't, you didn't drive into that truck? No. Truck came around there, and the next thing I knew, it was like, boom. I was just driving, and all of a sudden, boom. We're going to have you take some voluntary field sobriety tests. We're going to make sure you're okay to drive, okay? That's fine. Well, that's going to be between you and him. He will if he watches Hot Pursuit. We gotta keep them going for safety, okay? Mm -hmm. You understand what, what you're gonna do? Okay. Okay, go ahead and start. Mm -hmm. So you want me to do what? Just like I told you, tip one foot up about six inches and count out loud. Just what about this test is confusing? No. Two feet off the ground. Now that would be interesting. Don't hold on to me. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's good. We'll go. We'll try the next test. Okay. We'll try the next. We'll try the next. We're done with that. This next test we're going to do is called the walk and turn. Okay. Now don't hold on to me unless you're going to fall. You're not going to fall, are you? Well, if you want to follow, you want to grab onto me, but I'll... Turn. Keep one foot on the line. Turn. I have to roll uh, forward and then turn. Yes, ma'am. Nine, okay. step, nine okay. steps forward. Okay. Okay. Small turn. All right. You know, I'm making that turn a small step. Right. Yeah. No, I can't leave. You guys do it all on your own. Finally, a test she's excited to do. Nine steps down. Turn. Nine steps down. Three, two, four, five, six. Counting drunk must be easier than driving drunk. The mayor's wife was three times the legal limit and pleaded guilty to two charges. This drunk driver couldn't pass a truck without hitting it, and she couldn't pass a sobriety test. But she did come close to just passing out. Coming up on Hot Pursuit, maybe he wants a juice box to go with his handcuffs. And this guy gets blown out. After kidnapping his passenger, the guy in this car is on the run in Brevard County, Florida. But police have him covered from all angles, on the ground and in the sky. It looks like he's going to pull over, but he's just reacting to what he's seen up ahead. He saved his tires from a blowout, and he takes off. But as fast as he goes, the cops are able to keep up. Now the police are struggling to follow him. Even the helicopter has to do a quick U-turn in the sky to keep up. 
vehicle southbound 995 now southbound accelerating he may have missed the spike strips but the cops get a lucky break one of his tires blows on its own still what's the big deal he has three good tires left yep i've got flat tires we're stopping Looks like he actually does need all four. He slows to a halt. Vehicle stop. This suspected kidnapping was a domestic dispute gone wrong. Both husband and wife are apprehended. All right, white male in custody. White female in custody. This couple was under pressure and underinflated. Now, they're under arrest. In Ypsilanti, Michigan, you have to be 16 to get a learner's permit. But the driver of this white SUV got a head start, a very big head start. A cop responds to the scene and gives the boy a tough interrogation. What's your name, sweetie? I'm Larry. You're Larry? Yeah. And how old are you, Larry? I'm five. My dad turned six. You took the truck without your mommy and daddy knowing? With such a dangerous criminal on her hands, she has no choice. She calls for backup. He's in this by himself? The boy must have expensive taste in cars. He took his grandmother's Cadillac Escalade. He stood on the seat and coasted for several blocks before cops were able to stop him, avoiding at least one accident. I got to use the bathroom. I got to use the bathroom. You got to use the bathroom, sweetie? Yeah. All right, it's an emergency? Yeah. Most thieves get one phone call, not a potty break. His driving days are over, at least for the next decade. We're going to take you home now, sweetie? Yeah, just take you home. You ready to go home, pumpkin? Yeah. Okay, let's buckle you in. Keep you nice and safe, okay? Coming up on Hot Pursuit, don't be afraid of the dark. And this driver sure knows how to rock and roll. In Layton City, Utah, the driver ahead is wanted for a minor offense, driving without his headlights on. But he's also trying to outrun the cops, and that is a much bigger deal. Who knows why his lights are off? Perhaps he's trying to hide something. The suspect turns into a dark residential area. You'd think he'd turn his lights on now. It might have helped him see the parked truck he almost hit. It's a close shave, and he needs to relax for a second. But only for a second. He's off again, driving down the wrong side of the street. The only light coming from the police car that's behind him. He's driving so badly, the police wouldn't be surprised if he were drunk or high on drugs. No one pulls a stunt like this over a pair of broken headlights. Each twist and turn is a potential disaster. The officers stick as close as they can in the hopes of stopping him quickly and safely. With no way out of the suburban sprawl, he changes tactics. It's time to run. Despite the solid chase work of local police, he slips into the darkness. Two passengers, however, couldn't escape the harsh glare of the arresting officers. In Weberville, Michigan, an officer is on his way to a call when he gets a little bit sidetracked. Here's 29-year-old Emily Bonus cruising along in her Ford Explorer, minding her own business. In an attempt to avoid a vehicle merging onto the highway, another driver accidentally merges into Emily. is tossed and turned too many times to count. 
Thankfully, the deputy is on the scene. Against all odds, but because of one buckled seatbelt, Emily survives. It was just a tiny mistake, but it almost had deadly results. Deputies are still searching for the hit-and-run driver who failed to stop after the accident.